So before we kind of really get into it, I want to jump back a little bit. <clears throat> yep. I want to talk about football. Okay, yeah. You played football growing up your entire life, right? I did. Yeah, I did. That's uh, probably the biggest portion of my life, I mm-hmm. think. I think, I don't know about now, but I think that for the majority of my YouTube career, my audience probably thought I was still playing football or knew I played football, but they don't know any details about it at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So you say they knew that because you had like the shoulder pads and the helmet from time to time in the videos? or Yeah, like I, I'm always doing like kind of athletic stuff in my videos. You know, I'm jumping off walls or I'm jumping over a table or, or doing something like that. And then what I'm most probably known for is my 100 layer wall videos mm-hmm. um, where I just basically make a wall out of, you know, any given, given material. It usually st- it started off with tapes. Um, and then at the end, they do a thing called the pain train where you basically just sprint and smash through the wall. And yeah. They could see the, you know, helmet. It's not just a generic helmet. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think, I think they knew because of that reason. And as well, like my YouTube crew, um, they reference it a lot. You know, we'll do a lot of challenges and like, you know, you can't kind of escape athletics if you do enough challenges, you know, like even on like a show like Big Brother or something, athletics matters to a degree. So whenever there's elements of that, they always rep, oh, well, he played football and this and that. So I think generally that's how people found out. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so. So how long did you play for? I, well, I played total in my life. I probably played for like 13 years, probably, maybe 14 years. Mm-hmm. Um, I played university for five years. Um, and then I stopped. Yeah. And so, yeah. So you, Actually, I played a year after that. Oh, you did? Where'd you, I did. Where'd you play after that? Um, I was just going to a lot of tryouts and stuff um, for, like, pro camps. Mm-hmm. And then I played for a semi-pro team uh, for half a season. The second half, I just came in, then played playoffs and stuff, and that's it. Okay. Where was but, that? Yeah. Where was that? That was in Ottawa. That was uh, uh, the Ottawa Invaders. Okay. Was. So I, I played for them for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are some lessons you learned over your 13-year football career playing in university? I mean, I learned a lot of lessons, um, for sure. Lessons that are, like, applicable to YouTube. Um, uh, probably just, like, like overall toughness. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't even mean, like, physical toughness, sure. You know, like... You know, some like a, like a regular person when they fall down, it's like it's a big deal. You know what I mean? It's like oh, like what happens? Like, man, I just I fell down the last step the other day, and it's like, you know, in football, it's like you run as fast as you can on kickoff for forty yards and smash into another guy's running as fast as you. You know, mm-hmm. and it's not a big deal. You fall down seventy times of practice. Like it's just no nobody cares. You know what I mean? It's like you, like like hey, this this. Sorry, I'm I'm going on a little bit of a tangent. It's okay. But I, I find it funny. If they get hurt, it's not funny. But people who haven't played sports, I always say this, don't know how to fall. They just don't. Like, if you ever, like they have no sense of, like, um, like, body awareness. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if you were to push an athlete really hard, unexpected, like, just, you know, without um, them prepping or, or whatever, um, they're going to fall like the roll on their side as they're falling or like they just automatically know how to protect themselves or use the momentum to maybe get back up like something, you know what I mean? So that they don't actually get really hurt mm-hmm. when, when an, an, a person that hasn't played sports before falls, they just fall. <laughs> like they just like timber or they just like, it's just, it's bad. And that's how they end up getting hurt in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, anyways, getting, getting back away from that, real lessons I've learned other than um, overall toughness, uh, I would say is resilience. And what I mean by that is like, um, actually uh, with my friend Rob, uh, they did a, uh, an article from the Gigi's on this and that's why I said resilience. Mm-hmm. Um, is that both YouTube and football, it's like you can work super super hard to something right like you just put all your eggs in one basket and and drive towards that and you expect a result often but you're not entitled to that result do you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so it's like just because you worked hard for it doesn't mean you deserve it you know what i mean or it doesn't mean that it's even going to happen um so for an example it's like you could train way harder than someone else and they still get the starting spot 
your team as a whole could train way harder than another team and you could still get your ass kicked when you show up at Western, you know, or a fluke play happens or, or whatever. So it just teaches you how to go through that and accept that and then still push forward, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, okay, well, you come in, you work your ass off all year and you show up game one, you get just run over, smacked, boom. It's not even close, you know? And you'll review that film, learn from your mistakes, right? Make corrections, go back to training, and then do it again the next week. And then after the season, you do it again the next season. So like with YouTube, for example, some of my biggest videos that I've put the most money into, the most resources, um, the biggest one being time, don't do as well, you know? It's like, it's crazy. It's like... There's like some videos where I put so much time and effort into it and then I produce it and it just doesn't do well. And I'm like, you know, can I swear on this? Yeah, absolutely. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, but there's some where it's like, like I did like mixing every glue in the world. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a trash idea or like I thought it was okay thumbnail and title, but how am I going to make that a long video? You know? And so I put it off for like two months. And it came down to it, and I was like panicked for a video idea, and I was like, like fuck it, you know, I'm just I'm gonna mix every glue in the world. Let's just try it. And my cameraman Travis, um, he always laughs because he said the entire time I was miserable filming that video. I was like the whole time I'm like this is a shit video. This is just I hate this. This is not gonna work. But I had to put it out, right? And I filmed it real quick too, and it got like nine million views. And so it's like, okay, you know. Um, but yeah, so. Anyways, long story short, I think there's a ton of lessons, but the most applicable one is resilience. Mm -hmm. That you just, you got to learn from your mistakes, but ultimately you got to keep moving forward and you're going to get your ass kicked. Even if you're good at something, you're still going to get your ass kicked if you want to progress. So, yeah. <laughs>